voting wraps up today ahead of Tuesday's primary runoff election. And one key race involves Democrats running for the 32nd Congressional District. Our political reporter, Jack Fink, has more. Colin Allred and Lillian Salerno are pulling out all the stops to get their supporters to the polls. I asked Allred and Salerno why they believe they're the stronger Democrat to run against veteran Republican Congressman Pete Sessions this November. And that I have a story to tell about who we are here in this area, that I'm a local guy, I was born and raised here by a single mother, and that my story is a lot about who we are here because everything I've done was with the support of the people of this area. To beat him, you need somebody like me, somebody who's worked across the aisle, knows how to talk to Republicans and independents, and has a strong history of fighting for working people. During the March primary, Allred received more than double the votes that Salerno did. But runoffs are a totally different election, with far fewer people going to vote. And neither campaign is taking it for granted. Allred says his top priorities include improving access to affordable health care and making sure the booming North Texas economy helps more residents. But we do have a middle skills uh, gap here in this area, that we have jobs that are available that we can't fill. Well, I think it's, it's job training, and I think we have to increase our uh, vocational training in our high schools. We need to invest in our community college system and our technical schools and invest in apprenticeship programs. You know, About Salerno says testing. her top priority is expanding Unbedded access to affordable health care, and she believes in Medicare for all. It's about priorities. I mean, you uh, determine your values as a country based on your priorities. Yes, we have plenty of money to make sure that this entire uh, citizenry of the United States has access to affordable health care. Whoever wins the Democratic primary runoff Tuesday, analysts expect a fierce debate this fall. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.